hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today in, the, in this video we are going to learn some of the tracking tips and tricks which i learned while working in a studio so i'm going to share some of the tips and tricks so you can improve your uh, 2d tracking as well as uh, camera tracking uh, in this video so uh, let's get started so as you can see i, I have this footage and uh, can see the camera is shaking a lot and in this one we will see 2d tracker and also the camera tracker how we can track this shot uh, accurately and some of the techniques uh, which you can apply while tracking uh, this kind of uh, shots so uh, first let's see the 2d tracking then we will jump to this camera tracking so i already tracked uh, some points here if i play you can see uh, there are some points it's total seven points so let's take a new tracker so we will start from fresh so usually what we do uh, we can just open this properties panel and here is this uh, icon we click this one you can add track directly in the viewer like this if i click here if i select this point if i click i can directly add track here or you can just click add track here it will add track also in your the, this thing in your viewer and the uh, shortcut for this if you press ctrl alt then you can add track many times so let's delete and just keep it one so we have this one tracker so let's see i want to track this corner so i'm just making it bigger this one also so uh, so the first tip is you can see we have this many uh, controls here so this one you can see this is uh, traffic uh, traffic lights kind of icon here if you click this one and uh, next to we have this stabilize zone so it's also called the center view so when you click this one so if i track now you can see my uh, viewer is always uh, in a stabilized mode so i can see here as well as i can see here also in a small window so let's cancel and if i play i can see this in a stabilized mode here while playing this shot like this so this is this thing does and uh, let's go back and we have a uh, few controls here which i want to uh, let you know so usually we just you know align this one and just hit track and by default it's work fine as you can see so we get very nice uh, track and you can see we get some green and uh, i mean we get uh, almost the green and we get some red dots and some yellow so this is basically indicate uh, the track quality see here but it's uh, it's not always correct this is just a visualization show track error so it's just showing the error if i go to this frame where it's showing the red yeah as you can see it slipped away from here to here it should come here right so i can manually adjust and when you do any manual adjustment it will automatically turn into this green color so but if i move it here it's still the green so you have to pay attention on that one and if i move let's go this yellow one yeah see here it's messed up here so tracker here but in the next frame it jump here but still it's a green so that's why we have to manually move this one like this and it's uh, and it's uh, why it's behaving because obviously this character is uh, inside this uh, tracker that's why we get this uh, bad track so if i go here so this red see the red is here it's almost in the same place but we get red so we have to careful all those things so let me just quickly align this one now we get pretty good track so so this is the usually you uh, we are tracking so there is one more uh, trick uh, to track uh, this is just another way to track uh, 2d track if i get another tracker here on this pole just making a size bigger and bigger so it's uh, so the technique i'm going to show you is totally depend on the shot by shot uh, so i will tell you so if i connect uh, align this one here so uh, what you have to do is like uh, 10 or 20 based on the camera motion so in this uh, motion i can go 10 by 10 frame skip so what i'm going to do i'm just skipping 10 frames i just disable this stabilize zone so i'm moving uh, this thing in a 10 by 10 frame so let's move it here let's see aligning like this so i will tell you why i'm doing and uh, how we can track this entirely so let's do that first So basically what i'm doing i'm just creating a checkpoints like here 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 so i'm just telling the tracker you have to move uh, from uh, this point 
to this point so uh, now what we can do to track this entirely there is a control here if you hover over uh, next to your tracker controls you can see this one so what it said he said key uh, key track to all and this one is a key track current so it's basically like a key tracking method if i just click this one it will track only uh, these 10 frames with uh, this next checkpoint all right so if i click now it's tracking from here to here only so it's basically uh, going this uh, this checkpoint to this checkpoint so if i go and if i do all so it's basically uh, tracking the in between uh, frames because we already uh, define it uh, the 10 10 frames checkpoints where this tracker need to go so if you can see here it's properly tracking all the time if i, if I play you can see in this window is properly tracking not a hundred percent but it's it's tracking once you track so under another advantage of doing this way so let's see if i my if my tracker see if we have some red uh, this thing right so if, if i go like here and if i just move it slightly it will automatically refresh uh, in in this uh, 10 10 keyframes like if i show you the keyframes here see we have this all those keyframes so where we put at the checkpoints it will refresh in the in the in that area only and check the track check here it's tracking properly but in this here we are getting this issue so let me move it like this see it will automatically refresh it will uh, calculate all the frames see it jump here so i can move it like this and it will refresh now as you can see we getting all the green error I mean now we are in a pretty good stage so this is another way of tracking uh, this 2d track so if you move, move slightly it will automatically refresh everything based on the movement you did so sometimes it's messed up as you can see now it's messed up so i'm just aligning this one again and it's done now so uh, you can try this one it's very useful uh, in some situation where the automatic track fail i mean if you just click like here and if you just hit track sometimes it's, it's messed up because because the camera movement or all those things so in in that situation you can try this method it's very good if i open this one so here i track it so many trackers here and uh, one more thing i want to tell you about the tracking so always uh, before you doing tracking uh, you need to do a denoise and then you can try your tracking so one more thing i want to tell you so here you can see so let's uh, track this one this corner and we will see how much we can track because this thing is going out of the frame so we will see how to solve that uh, thing so let's track so you can see it's tracking pretty well here now uh, now it slipped away see as you can see it's going out of the frame so that's why the tracker is automatically stopped so this is the last frame i can see so now i can delete that frame that red one so what we can do in this situation we just need to do offset tracking what does that mean you just press ctrl and click your tracker and you can move it like this now you can see this line is coming so i'm just uh, clicking here because this these two buildings are in a same place because they are very far away so the camera motion to this one and this one is almost the same so i can move this one track here and the keyframe is still generating here but we are using this part to calculate the motion so if i click one frame you can see the keyframe is generating here but we are using this area so now we can do our tracking and now the track point is going out of the frame but we are getting that uh, motion properly so you can see now play you can see we are getting properly that motion because these two buildings are in the same place so we can do like this we can do offset track so this is exactly what i did here as you can see now this one we i did a uh, offset tracking here to do a better tracking always remember we are using this footage for tracking purpose so we can change this footage we can manipulate this footage how we want based on the tracker one more thing in the tracker when you open this one always uh, use this one check this box adjust uh, for luminance changes is basically help the tracking in the setting you can you can experiment like there is a lot of uh, things you can you know change here to improve your tracking so the one thing i always uh, do uh, we i add uh, this pxf band pass so what it does is basically give you this high frequency detail so you can track easily 
so in the end we just need a good tracker right so we can change this footage how you want you can also add a grid and do a contrast like this so now you can see much more detail here compared to this one it's very flat so you can see much more detail so this way you can you know track this one if you add this band pass you can see it's very detail in the sky obviously it's uh it's, it's compressed but you can see the detail before uh there is nothing is here when you add you can see this high frequency detail so you can easily track so i'm just adding what two pixel blur because we have some noise here so after that you can add your tracker and you can just do your camera track i mean you can do your 2d track like this so if i just click and select this area and if i track it will it will track nicely because it's very high contrast and tracking very well so i think it's jump because we have this similar thing let me quickly check is it jumping yeah it's jump from here to here because it's the same thing right so that's why let's get confused is track it properly because it's very high contrast area and similarly we can you know track like this point i don't know what this point is but we get that so let's try to track this one and see how much we can get see it's it's tracking properly because it's because it's just a black dot so it's very high contrast so we can track it very nicely so from here and let's move this forward also so this is the basic idea you just need to manipulate your plate according to the tracking and that way you can you know easily do a 2d tracking we have successfully tracked this point and let's see the original what this thing is yeah see we we'll track this one we can't even see here when you open this one now you can see it but in this one it's very hard to see what we track but we track that point right so that is the power of you know changing your footage and doing something like this and then you can track any detail in this entire footage so uh, this is the 2d tracking and the same thing apply for the camera tracking as well but the camera tracking uh, we can combine this 2d track also in that camera track so we can use 2d track in in our advantage because we already track these many points right so uh, in this tracker i track seven points so i can use those 2d track points in my camera tracker to help the camera solve so what i mean let's take a camera tracker let's connect here and uh, first thing if you see the camera tracker have this mask input so you can you know uh, root out this character and you can exclude this character as well uh, but i'm not gonna do that in this one i'm just i just want to quickly show you uh, the main tips for this one uh doing a camera track always you need to see the camera details if you have a camera details but in this situation i don't have anything so i'm just leaving everything uh default what we have here here as you can see we have this user track right so first uh let's see this go to here setting and the minimum track first let's open this one so click on these two define feature track and the preview feature track and let's increase the count maybe 300 and let's first uh, track this one then we will come back all right so as you can see we get uh, this track and let's first go here so we have some settings here let's do the solve see how much error threshold we get see that's it's very high so what you need to do first let's uh, these are the things you can do to you know remove so remove the bad tracks only so i'm doing like this and just delete those bad tracks and come here update solve again as you can see numbers are reducing so i'm doing this multiple times so i can get better solve let's see how much i can get okay so maybe this uh, this is enough so now i want to use uh, the tracker these are the these are the 2d tracker i can use in this uh, user track so it will basically uh, improve my tracking quality so let's add of in this here you can use uh, this import track here and you can select the tracker so currently in this script i have these many trackers here so i want to use this tracker number one so i click and hit okay 
and you just have to wait because it's a little buggy if you click somewhere and if you do uh, navigating it will crash your nuke and uh, uh, if you have more trackers then it will take more time to load here so you have to keep that in mind so now we added a tracker here so you can hit solve again and let's see how much you get so we get this so let's go here delete reject it and let's update solve so 1.9 so i can push this more and see how much lower you can go so the 1.8 so i think still we can improve this one better so i can show you what how much i get so in here i have this tracker camera tracker i can i get 1.65 uh, with this uh, user track and this is the track quality i get so you can see it pretty well sticking here but still 1.6 is very high i can uh, i can improve this one i can add more you know user track here i use the same tracker if i show you here so these are the user tracker you can see it so it's the same tracker uh, i'm using the same tracker uh, tracker number one you can use user tracker in your camera track to improve your camera track and you can get pretty well uh, result you can see here i can easily identify this is this is this front wall and this is the back one so here you can see it so this one is here and that one is back away track using these two features as i said and you can use your 2d tracker in your camera tracker and uh, always uh, try to uh, denoise and try to manipulate your plate as much as you can based on your tracker so when you do camera track, you can also add a grade band pass or some something else to you know enhance your tracking uh, for that you need to manipulate your plate based on the camera track when camera tracking if you have some camera information you can always you know put here the lensing and the film back size and all those things so it will it will definitely improve the camera solve so that is i want to share in this video so i hope you learned some you know basics of tracking in general so this is just a quick tip i want to share with you i hope you like it and please uh, let me know in the comment what are the problems you are facing uh, when when you are tracking in your in general like 2d or 3d uh, so i can give you some solution so again thank you for watching we will see you in our very next one have a great day